third Sunday of October. Third Lord's Day in October. The Purity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The lesson is taken from the book Upon Virgins, written by St. Ambrose, Bishop of Milan. Set before yourselves, as the ideal of virginity, the life of Blessed Mary, which reflecteth, as in a looking glass, the beauty of chastity, and the loveliness of self-government. Hence ye may take the pattern of your life, for here are to be seen, set forth as in the model, all those things which ye should learn what to correct, what to flee, what to hold. The first incentive of the learner is the position of the teacher, whose position is higher than that of the mother of God, who brighter than she whom the light shows, what purer than she who conceived a body without bodily connection? What shall I say about the rest of her great qualities? She was a virgin not in body only, but in mind also. The purity of her thoughts had been deflowered by no evil suggestion. She was lowly in heart, serious in words, wise in head. She spoke little, and took great delight in reading. She placed her hopes not in uncertain riches, but in the prayers of the poor. She was earnest in her pursuits, and modest in conversation. She was used to consider not what men might think of her, but what God might think. She hurt none, and wished well to all. She shrank from boasting, she followed reason. She loved whatsoever was best. Amen. The lesson is taken from the sermons of St. Peter Chrysologus, Archbishop of Ravenna. She gave glory to heaven. She gave God to earth, she gave faith to the Gentiles, she gave an end to sin, she gave order to life, she gave discipline to manners. The Virgin accepted the grace which was brought to her by the angel, and then forthwith gave in return everlasting salvation. Virgin blessed indeed, whose are at once the grace of maidenhood and the crown of motherhood. Virgin blessed indeed, who won such grace as to conceive from heaven and kept untouched the wreath of her guilelessness. Virgin blessed indeed, who received the grace of bearing a divine offspring, and remaineth the sovereign of purity in all states of life. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. In Elo Tempo Rei. At the time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God, unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man and so on. Homily by St. Bernard, a bat of Clairvaux. None can doubt that she who is the queen of virgins will be the foremost of all to sing that song which it will be given to virgins alone to sing in the kingdom of God. And I think that in singing that song which they alone will sing, but which they will sing all, hers will be the sweetest and the clearest voice, whose notes will make glad the city of our God. To utter such notes as hers, to sing such a song as hers, will none other be found worthy even among those virgins, and that music will be kept for her alone, who alone hath the boast of being mother, and mother of the Son of God. She hath wherewith to boast, I say, not in itself that she is mother, but in that he whom she bare was her son. Of a surety God, and it was God whom she bore who was to give to his mother a glory which in the heavenly places is all her own, was careful to prevent her on earth, with a grace which was all her own, even the grace whereby in some way, which cannot be uttered, she conceived without touch and bore without change. It became God to be born of none but a virgin. It became a virgin mother to be the mother of God. It became the creator of mankind as about to be born a man, made of a woman, to choose unto himself out of all, and indeed to create for himself, such a mother as he knew beseemed him, and would please him. He was pleased, therefore, that she should be a virgin out of whom, being herself stainless, he should come forth stainless to purge away all stains. He was pleased that she should be lowly out of whom he should come forth, who is meek and lowly in heart to set an example unto all, in himself, of needful and healthful graces. He granted her the power of motherhood while yet maiden, having already himself breathed unto her the love of virginity, and granted unto her the reward of her lowliness. And that she who was to conceive and bear the holy of holies might be holy in body, 
she received the gift of virginity, and that she might be holy in mind, she received the gift of lowliness. Amen. Benedict et vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.